I've been doing cookery demonstrations at Bloom since 2007, and for me, it's the highlight of my year. You meet the most wonderful Irish producers, you see the most spectacular gardens, and for me, it's such a fun family event. For me as a chef, you're always learning. This year, we can't be there, unfortunately, but we're in it together. So I'm gonna do a lovely, simple recipe for you, a warm steak salad, which celebrates the very best of Irish beef. So when you're getting your lovely steak, and this is the strip line, look for the board be a quality mark. It's consistent, it's grown in Ireland, produced in Ireland, and it's fed on grass. And that's what gives it the great flavor. We have such great beef. I have this marinating for about maybe 20 minutes, half an hour. So lovely fresh herbs, rosemary thyme, you could put garlic in there, you could put spices in there. But the key, bring it to room temperature, never straight from the fridge. I'm gonna use some Irish rapeseed oil. When we cook this, we're gonna season it with some really nice Irish sea salt. Okay, so this is some Irish sea salt from Ackle. So you season before it goes onto the pan, and then some black pepper. So lots of black pepper. When your pan is hot, you're gonna get your steak and you're just gonna place it on that. You wanna hear that sizzle, that's really important. What I like when I'm cooking steak is some butter. So the rapeseed oil, it's a fantastic oil produced in Ireland. The butter will give the most beautiful flavor, so it will, and the rapeseed oil stops the butter from burning. We need to season the other side of the steak. So some sea salt and some black pepper. And this recipe is perfect on a barbecue. It can be done under a grill, whatever way you want to cook it. I like pan frying it. Get a nice bit of color. So while the steak is on cooking, I'm gonna to talk to you about lots of lovely vegetables. First of all, this is a salaric. It's a root vegetable. It's known as the ugly duckling of root vegetables, but it's a fantastic flavor. So all I've done is just peeled it and it has that beautiful kind of like white flesh. Some carrot and then a little bit of red onion. So what we're gonna do is make a very, very quick kind of vegetable salad to go with this. Now we're gonna use this. This is known as a Japanese mandolin. So it's a, a little kind of a slicer, but there's little teeth in it. So this is gonna help us get nice little strips. So we'll just do half the carrot and then we'll slice the onion. So we're gonna pack this, lots of nice salads, sides, and then our vegetables here. And then slice this just nice and thin. I'll show you this. Now look at, each one of those are perfect. They're consistent. Shake the pan, let that cook away, keep it on a high heat. That's really important. So in goes our lovely strips of carrots. So we've got a question in from Facebook. What is my favorite barbecue side dish? Do you know, it's hard to beat corn on the cob. I usually kind of pre-boil it so it keeps it really nice and moist when it's fresh. And then what you can do is you can then just simply drizzle some lovely garlic butter over it. But lots of lovely vegetables that we grow in Ireland. For example, peppers can grow very successfully. Um, courgettes with a little bit of lemon zest, a little bit of rosemary and oil. It's gorgeous. We're gonna do the same at Salaric. It's a great vegetable, thritis. So just be careful when you're doing this. So using the tea towel, a little bit firmer and this is really nice in a coleslaw so if you were to make a coleslaw with this which would work really well with the steak I would blanch this and that means cook and boil in water for about maybe 30 seconds then I would run cold water so you're refreshing it mix it with some mayonnaise lemon ge zest juice and um, a little bit of whole grain mustard and grated apple delicious so that's our two vegetables there using the Japanese mandolin so red onion is peeled half a red onion should be loads and we're going to slice this watch the fingers and red onion i think with steak is gorgeous you can caramelize this with a little touch of brown sugar and balsamic vinegar and you have the most delicious caramelized onions so that's going to go into the bowl mix this all together and that's full of goodness there just mix it all together a little bit of rapeseed oil Shake the pan, that's cooking up nicely. So rapeseed oil, some sea salt, and then this is a beautiful Irish produced balsamic vinegar. It's a cider vinegar, so it is. So lead wells, just a splash of this, and that will give so much freshness. And I'm actually gonna use that into our dressing. Okay, I'm gonna mix this all together. Use the tongs, you can use your fingers if you want to. You can put in 
chili, you can put in some mint, um, some lovely fresh herbs, back onto our steak. You can see the way it's kind of caramelizing here. So we're just gonna flip this over, oh wow. That's what you're getting from the butter. That beautiful marbling of fat will give flavor. Don't be afraid of it, it will give so much flavor. And the fact that this is produced and reared in Ireland, grass fed, we do have, for me, some of the best beef in the world. So look for the board be a quality mark, that's really important. Bring it to room temperature, a little bit of oil, herbs, oil, butter, salt, pepper, and that's it. It's delicious on its own. I'm just pressing the center. It feels nice and soft, but not too soft. So what I'm gonna do, with some tin foil, we're gonna lift off the steak. Now, what does resting do? It relaxes the meat. That's really, really important because you want to keep the juices in the steak. If you slice that straight away, it's going to run all over the plate. I'm going to show you a really nice dressing. So we're using the cider balsamic. We're going to put in some garlic. So I'm going to crush in one clove of garlic and I'm going to make it in the pan. So crush one clove of garlic in here. One clove of garlic, the vinegar in there, a tiny little bit of some Dijon mustard, some oil, and I'm using some extra virgin olive oil. And then what works really well with beef for steak? Horseradish. So I'll just use a small amount of horseradish, roughly about a teaspoonful. So we mix all this together, and then I'm gonna put in some beef stock. So just combine everything together in here. Like that steak on its own with the salad and some rocket is delicious. And of course, a few chips. Hard to be chips, isn't it? Or some kind of potato with it. So we just mix this all together. So this is some beef stock. So I'm gonna put this into the pan. So all those lovely juices from the steak is there. You can see that there, there's a couple of little herbs. And then just mix this all together. So I'm gonna let that bubble away there some salt, because this is some homemade beef stock, so we don't use any salt in it. So that's on cooking. I can smell that, the mustard, the garlic, all those flavors work really, really well. I'm gonna show you a very, very quick tomato salad. So we have lovely selection of tomatoes here. They're in season. We're gonna put in some extra virgin olive oil. Gonna put in some of the vinegar. And then a herb that works really, really well is some fresh basil. I love fresh basil, one of my favorite herbs. So when I go to Bloom, you meet so many great producers and every year you meet someone new, someone innovative, and you see the same faces there, the people that have passion, who really, who really care about what they produce. And that's what I love about it, because as a chef, you never stop learning about food and produce. And then you meet the people at Bloom, you know, families, it's such an educational, great event. Myself, Imelda, my twins have been there. They'd be running around the place, enjoying the food, enjoying the gardens. And it's, it's a very, very special event. It's, it's something that means an awful lot to me as a chef. You know, produce, gardening, it ticks all the boxes. And it's what we do so well in Ireland. We've just got another question in from Facebook. So should tomatoes be stored in the fridge? Personally, I think at room temperature. Uh, you can store them in the fridge, but serve them at room temperature for maybe about, take them out of the fridge about an hour ahead. It brings out the natural sweetness. So for me, I think you don't need to store them in the fridge. And a little bit of lemon zest works really well with tomatoes. So my answer to uh, the person who asked Facebook, I would always bring them at room temperature, never serve them straight from the fridge. It's delicious, absolutely delicious. So that's our lovely three tomato salad. Well, there's probably three or four different varieties there. And the longer you leave that, the flavor is absolutely delicious. So I'll move that out of the way there. I want to show you the dressing because I don't want this too thick, too gloopy, too heavy. But that's it there. There's one thing I need to add into it, and it's some fresh coriander or basil or parsley, whatever you have. Fresh herbs, they're hard to beat. And definitely there's a huge increase in people growing their own vegetables and herbs and salads because you know how fresh it is. So I'm going to chop this really, really fast and hopefully it won't blow away. And I've cut it really kind of rustic and then into the pan. And stir this through. So coriander, I like it. I prefer basil, so it's up to you. And that's it done. You can just hear the gas blowing away there. So it's just nice, 
consistency. Can you see that? So the last thing I'm going to do is wilt or cook this beautiful pok choy. So this is a leafy green and it's great in stir fries. Great texture from the actual base of it. We're just going to literally take off the very end and then we're going to cut it into long little strips, just like that. It's a beautiful vegetable. It can be grown in Ireland, which is fantastic. Great in stir fries and soups. So there we go. Shallot, this is a banana shallot. So it's a really kind of nice um, sweet onion. You can do this with red onion. So I'm going to slice this, but half of this should be loads. We can use sesame oil, but I'm using the rapeseed oil. Good drizzle of this. Just make sure it's nice and hot. And then in goes those lovely little sliced shallots. So half the shallot, you can put garlic in there. Now the pok choy. So we're just gonna literally wilt that. Tiny little bit of salt, little bit of pepper. And again, you can put soya chili, try this vegetable, it's delicious. And we're just gonna let that just cook there for a minute. Steak is rested, keep it covered. If you don't keep it covered, it's gonna go cold. All those lovely juices, see the juices there? We're gonna actually put this into our lovely sauce. So we're wasting nothing. That's not because I'm from Cavan. We don't like waste. Whisk this in here. And that's our sauce ready. We're gonna slice this. So we're gonna remove just a little bit of the fat here. So this is nice and pink, the way I like it. And we're gonna cut it into nice chunks. Beautiful. It's really tender. See the way that's cutting so easy. So we're just gonna arrange this just around the plate. Yum. Now, if I wasn't on camera, I'd probably be eating two or three of these, honestly. Just delicious. Next thing is our dressing. Just stir your pok choy. Or you can want, if you want to do it in a walk, you can do this. Kind of move it around a little bit. Switch that off. Doesn't take long to cook. And that's what you call wilting. Then our beautiful sauce. So we used the Dijon mustard, the garlic, the vinegar, a little bit of beef stock some lovely herbs, coriander, and then some horseradish. So that's our steak. Next we have our lovely salad of vegetables. So red onion, celeriac, try this vegetable, delicious. Some carrots, a little bit of oil, a little touch of vinegar, and then our gorgeous tomato salad. You're not gonna be hungry after this, I can tell you that. You're getting so much goodness these lovely cherry tomatoes. And them are pok choy. I love that. See the way it's cut like that? Just arrange it, two little pieces, that's gorgeous. And then the last thing, I've said that a few times, is some salad. Some lovely salad here that we just got here in Airfield. Just arrange it on top. And the final thing I have under here, what do we love in Ireland? Potatoes. A lovely potato salad. So this is some baby potatoes, which I've par cooked, cut in half, mixed with some creme fraiche, spring onion, some lovely dill, and served that on the side. And that's my warm steak salad with horseradish, the lovely tree tomato salad, pok choy. And I just want to sincerely thank all the producers. For me, they're my food heroes. They're what make our country great and make Bloom such a very, very special family occasion. So all the recipes can be found on boardbeabloom.com. Enjoy the recipes, happy cooking, and hopefully we'll see you all soon. Thanks very much.